Hey everybody, it's Peter from Brave for Kia. Did you know that the backup camera on your Kia may have some hidden features? In this video, we're gonna show you what they are and how to use them. This is your Kia class. All right, so I'm inside the 2020 Kia Soul EV. Now, this doesn't have to be an electric vehicle. I just happen to be indoors, and it's easier to drive a car indoors if it's an electric vehicle. So this can work on your gas vehicle. Uh, some of these features will also work on the 8-inch screen. This one happens to be a 10 and a quarter inch screen. This, v this video does not apply if you have the 360-degree camera. We'll do a separate video on some of the features of those cameras. So here we go. We put the car into reverse right now. Of course the backup camera comes on now there's a couple things that are obvious there is over here you saw the little gear icon up there if you touch the gear icon you can adjust things like the uh the brightness and let's see if i get the camera to adjust here there we go brightness and contrast so you can adjust those up and down they're actually perfect in the factory settings the center button just centers out those controls so if we adjust the contrast up and we just hit the center button it goes back to that those are controls that a lot of people know about on my 2020 soul ev which is one year previous uh it just shows up right in this section here those controls so a lot of people know about that now did you see the little icon that just disappeared on the camera touch the screen here and you can see right there what that does is it shows me directly behind the car so imagine i had a vehicle where i was hitching the vehicle you could see exactly the line where your hitch is going to line up and you can see the lines in the floor there if i back up i can get right right up to that spot so let's go forward for a second put it in drive go a little forward throw it in reverse we still get the standard view but if i want to get right to that spot let's just tap it again I can go right back exactly to the line that I want to hit and I can be right on that line. So if you really want to be precise, that's one way to do that is you can just tap that button right there. So those are two features that not everybody knows about. There's one more hidden feature. So we're going to put the car in park for a second in your settings menu. So there's different ways to get to settings menu. Sometimes if you have the eight inch screen, it'll be a settings here, but you'll see what we're doing on the 10 and a quarter inch screen. You swipe aside. In this case, you're going to swipe aside once more and there's a setup menu. You're going to click the setup menu right there. You're going to hit the display button right here. So look for the display button. It could be in a different order on your car. We're going to scroll down until we see extend rear camera use. Now what we're going to do is click that. And this is exactly what it does. The rear camera view is displayed regardless of gear. When the vehicle exceeds a predetermined factory set speed, the rear camera display turns off. So in other words, when we turn that on, we go back home. We're going to put the car in reverse for a second right now. We're in reverse, we're gonna back up pretty close to that wall right over there. Not gonna to get too close because we are driving with a camera. So they were really, really close. Now, maybe that's a little close. And what I wanna do is I wanna roll a little bit forward. So now I'm gonna put the car into drive and I can say, oh, I just wanna be maybe a tile or two away from that wall. So let's roll a little bit forward. That's exactly where I wanna be, let's say a tile and a half and park it right there. So you can see how being able to see directly behind the car can be helpful in certain situations, especially if you have a vehicle with a hitch. You can also see how extending that rear camera view can allow you to move forward and park the car exactly where you want to. So there is your Kia class. We do these twice a week, usually Wednesdays and Fridays. We also go live every single weekday from this video bay and take an interactive look at cars. So if you wanna join us, you can join us live on YouTube, two o'clock Eastern time, any weekday. Just go to our page, refresh the page, and you'll see the live video exactly at two o'clock. We'd be happy to help you there. If you're looking for Kia content, nobody's gonna have more Kia content than us. Thank you for watching Brantford Kia's YouTube channel.